Hey guys, Chad here with another first impression. So today I have a friend of mine, an old old friend of mine, who decided to get, I wanted to get his take on this fragrance. So he doesn't know anything about fragrances. He pretty much only wears two fragrances, Polo Red, which is nice, and E Saint Laurent L'Homme Libre. But I'm gonna get him to smell another E Saint Laurent pro uh, product. But just the background right now, we're actually in downtown Mississauga. So this is where he, uh, where my friend lives. Uh, just a beautiful view as you could tell so in the background over there is Lake Ontario you got Mississauga I'm just gonna grab the tripod and show you real quick and uh, we have a girl sun tanning right on that co condo nice so that's a uh, city hall and square one would be located down the road all right so let's get this started so just tell me if I'm in it or not. Okay, so Alvin, please step into the camera. Just back it up, just back it up. Okay, that's good, all right. We're gonna keep this as professional, but as genuine as possible. So this is my friend Alvin, who I've known for years and years. I think I've known you for four, 13 years. Yes, for a while. Yes, so it's unfortunate for him. So Alvin is a really good looking guy as you can tell. So ladies, if you're single and you're from the GTA, he's a bachelor. Okay, I'm just embarrassing him right now. All right, so today's first impressions review is from Yves Saint Laurent, and that's Rive Gauche. So hopefully the camera could pick that up. So I'm just gonna spray this on Alvin's hand and I will go through on your phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, talk first and then I'll get your picture. Right? Sure. Okay, so it was launched in 2003, and it's by Jacques Cavalier, who's created Bulgari Put Om, oh sorry, Bulgari Aqua Put Om, Bulgari Man Extreme, Calvin Klein Truth for Women, Ziad Midnight Poison, and a lot more. So this is considered an aromatic green, mana cords are aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody, floral, and warm, spicy. Top notes are rosemary, star anise, bergamot. The mid is lavender, cloves, geranium, and what the hell is that? Corman, okay, I'm, my writing is bad. So the base is patchouli, gaiac wood, vetiver, and oak moss. Now what I get out of this fragrance, is I definitely get that lavender and the geranium during the dry down. And this smells like uh, the barbershop shaving cream that you would get if you were to get a shaving at a barbershop. Very, very nice fragrance. It's got a bit of a mature vibe to it. This definitely smells like a dad, as uh, Mark's ro Mark Rob Robes 08 and Greggy Boy would say. So seasons, I'd say spring, summer, and autumn age. So because it's got a bit of a mature vibe to it, I would say 30 years and up. Um, occasions, work, and that's pretty much it. It could be used for semi-formal really, but it's not very versatile. This is a good signature scent uh, really though. Uh, longevity was seven to nine hours. Projection was two and a half to three. So prices, they, d they didn't have this one on Fragrance X um, or Fragrance Net. I only saw it on Amazon for, and a 4.2 ounce was $54. eBay sizes, so they come in 2.5 ounce and a 4.2 ounce, and the prices range from $70 to $90. Now, I'm not too sure if this one is discontinued or not. So people's thoughts on this one were interesting, unique, clean, barbershop, mature, and old manish. Now. Alvin, what do you think? Like, okay, so as I stated, my friend doesn't know anything about fragrances. I'm just gonna be honest. So, I'm just gonna ask if he likes it or not, if he can get anything from it. Basically, when you mentioned the uh, shaving cream, I, I definitely got a hint of that. Okay. Um, when it was initially applied and I was sniffing it, it, it smelled it smelled a little uh, too spicy for me. But as it's dried off a little bit, it's it's a. Uh, pleasant but it definitely has that, that older distinguished mature smell too. and this is the guy said, who states that he doesn't know much about fragrances that's yeah. actually a good no no but that's actually pretty good Thank you. do you like it though it's all right it's probably not something i personally would wear but okay. um but i don't mind it yeah. okay so as i stated alvin's pretty much signature scents are polo red and um he's saying that i love libre i'm trying to get him out there a little bit more trying to experiment. We've been out to Sephora quite a few times. His tastes are pretty picky, but that's okay. Polaroid is actually a, a nice one, but just doesn't last very long. And that one gets a lot of compliments when it comes to the girls, as you stated, right? As I stated? Well, you said that a lot of the women <laughs> liked it. Yes, a lot of 
Yeah. Yes, it yeah. does. It just doesn't last. So, all right. So, do you have anything else to say about this one? Yeah. No. So, would you recommend this? Actually, you know what? Would Would your dad wear that? I don't think my dad would wear it personally. Um, but I think if it's going for a night out, uh, a nice evening out for a dinner or, or an event, I think it's something that would be appropriate for that. And, um, well, okay, so two of my friends said that this is smells like a dad. You are a father. Yeah. Does this come across as a, as a bit of a dad pregnancy? Um, if that means mature, then I would say yes. Okay, yeah. all right. So, guys, we got a good, honest take from a good friend of mine. And uh, so that is our, I guess it's our first impressions of Yves Saint Laurent. Arrive gauche, so please rate, comment, and subscribe. And Alvin, thank you very much for being part of this. Thank you. All right, catch you later. Yeah. Bye.